we have arrived at the most important moment in history. The moment of creation of cinema. Emerging a rivalry between the United States and France for the primacy of the seventh art. In the previous chapter, a contextualization of what the world was like in the 1890s was presented. An effervescence of inventions all over the world after the invention of photography, engineers were looking for ways to create moving images. Different people around the world worked independently to achieve this technological milestone. Because there existed at the time what is convenient to call the desire for cinema or the desire for modernity. Moved by this impetus, many pioneers claim historical recognition, but this class will highlight the date of presentation to the public of three technological matrices made for this purpose in chronological order, kinetoscope, 1894, bioscope and cinematograph, both in 1895. Kinetoscope it had an individual viewer through which one could watch, by inserting a coin, the exhibition of a small strip of film in looping, in which moving images of comic numbers, trained animals and dancers appeared. Differential of the film being shown on screen. On the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, in Paris other inventors presented another form of photo animation. The Lumiere Brothers. They held the first cinema screening on December 28, 1895 at the Grand Café in Paris. In the first part of this chapter we saw that the date of birth of cinema was in Paris on December 28, 1895. Soon our story begins from this milestone, but cinema has its own prehistory of cinema, one month and 27 days before this historic landmark there was another cinema presentation, only in Germany. On the date of November 1, 1895, in Berlin. Let's add that in this context there is a controversy involving French and German journalists about the invention of cinema. The bioscope was invented by brothers Max and Emil Skladinowski in Germany. This inventive family has given us today a vision of the spectacularity associated with the birth of cinema. It was at the Wintergarten in Berlin, located on Martin Luther Strasse, that the first cinema projections were held for a paying audience. On February 1, 1907, the German newspaper Der Komet attributed the invention of cinema to Max Gladinowski, starting a controversy with French journalists about the date of its beginning. Different from the illustrious French brothers who were entrepreneurs. Karl, the father of the Skladinowski brothers, took his children to traveling optical instrument shows, mostly with magic lanterns. This interest in image projection led them to study the possibility of animating photographs and in the summer of 1892 they developed a filming and projecting machine using the new Kodak celluloid film. The bioscope is a projection device developed from the double lens magic lanterns. Skladinowski used two strips of film, 54 mm wide, alternately projecting 16 frames per second, but almost a month later in Paris, France, the Lumiere brothers present the cinematograph, another invention, but simpler than the bioscope. Recognition of technical advances in cinematography, in relation to bioscope, led the Skladinowskis to abandon the project and dedicate themselves to other areas. The prehistory of cinema ends here by pointing to a zeitgeist. Two groups of brothers in nearby towns made important inventions in Europe that are still available today, giving us a vision of the spectacularity associated with the birth of cinema. Simple way, we can say that it is a series of elements that form the world's cultural and intellectual environment in a specific period of history. That is, the characteristics of people, consumers, over time. Louis Le Prince, 1887, the forgotten pioneer of cinema, Louis Le Prince directed a few films from 1887 onwards, eight years before the first Lumiere Brothers films. Louis M. Augustine Le Prince was born in France on August 28, 1842. His father was a close friend of Louis Daguerre, one of the inventors of photography. Louis Le Prince was fascinated with making pictures move. In 1887, he developed his camera which used a single lens and used rolled photographic paper as a substitute for film. 
It took 24 shots to shoot one second of moving film. His wife was an artist. She was in the United States for an exhibition and arranged a series of presentations for Lou Prince in the country to showcase his precursor invention of cinema, but the French inventor had legal problems with Thomas Edison, considered by Americans as the inventor of cinema. Lou Prince registered the U.S. patent in 1886 and Edison registered the invention in 1889. On September 16, 1890 Louis Lou Prince boarded a train in France, bound for England, where he would take a ship to the USA to testify against Edison in court and make his first North American exhibitions. However, Lou Prince did not disembark. He and his luggage had disappeared, and they never heard anything about him again. The police concluded that he was heavily in debt and had disappeared of his own accord, possibly by suicide. His son Adolf even testified in the United States, but was murdered in 1901, a few days before the final sentence of the process, in which Edison emerged victorious. Adolf's body was found in a river in San Francisco.